Yo, what's going on guys? Anastas here with Subtle Cinematics and today we're filming a little short film with my buddy Blake here. So we've been talking about filming um, a cool cinematic video for a minute now, like literally over a year. So we're finally here, finally doing it. Uh, Blake, if you want to tell the subscribers kind of who you are, where you're from and uh, what we're going to be shooting today. My name is Blake Clementine. I'm 30 years old. Uh, I now live in Regina. I've been here for 13 years. I was in a car accident when I was 16 years old, so uh, 14 years ago. I, I rolled my truck and, you know, we're going to be shooting a video based on, on hope and, you know, kind of some, some of my recovery and, you know, just the journey along the way. Sweet man. Yeah, honestly, I've always found that Blake's story, like after we went to the gym like a few times, training with Adam, kind of got into his story a little bit and I just found it like super inspiring and stuff and I just knew that I wanted to take my video skills and editing skills and, um, you know, use Blake for a cool fitness motivational video just because I love shooting fitness videos so I knew that I had to incorporate you on a video. So we're going to take you guys behind the scenes today on this uh, fitness video. It's going to be super epic. Catch you guys in the BTS. Peace. So the camera that I'm going to be using today is the Lumix S1. I'm basically just going to be run, running the B cam today. Dyson is using the Z cam E2S6 with a um, DZO film 50mm cinema lens. I'm going to be rocking the 35mm, Dyson is going to be on the 50mm. I'm also running a black Promis quarter filter uh, for the entire shoot. So we're going to walk around with Blake, grab some B-roll shots of him working out. And then after that we're going to be doing some really cinematic cool lighting. Um, interview style stuff for um, capturing voiceover for the actual short film. Alright, first exercise we're going to film Blake doing some chin-ups. It's kind of like an awkward position in this gym because there's like mirrors everywhere so me and Dyson have to coordinate with each other and stay put in one spot otherwise we're going to catch each other in the mirrors or ourselves. Dyson's going to focus on getting all the tight angles with the 50mm DZO film lens. I'm going to be focusing on 60fps slow-mo stuff, uh, more so getting like medium to tight shots. So yeah, these are going to be really sick. So one thing off the bat here guys, whenever I'm shooting uh, people at the gym, I usually tell them like three or four sets is perfect. So that allows me to get like a wide shot on the first set and a medium shot on the second set. And then like the third or fourth, I can either get like accessory stuff, like basically like tight shots and then halfway through their set, I'll pull back out. Three sets is usually a sweet spot. So um, just keep that in mind whenever you're shooting your fitness video. Didn't put enough product into it. Next exercise we're gonna be doing is dumbbell pullover. So Blake is like lifting extremely heavy for these. They look awesome. Because I'm using the S1, which has IBIS and Dyson Z Cam doesn't, I'm the one that's gonna be getting all the crazy angles handheld with the Lumix S1. So basically what I'm doing is when Blake is doing his pullover, I'm actually angling the camera back sideways like this and then when he comes to the top of the movement, I come in like this. So I'm basically just doing a movement, kind of twisting the camera, getting like a really cool handheld um, look to it where I don't have to do it in post, right? So I'm kind of like barrel rolling the camera and just doing like little mini semicircles into Blake as he comes to the top of the movement. This is one of my favorite types of camera techniques to do for fitness videos is when um, an athlete is like, bringing weights down or like doing a, doing a movement and like I twist the camera in and then at the top of the movement once they're going up, twist back up to them. Looks super sick. I was doing night shit, working at McDonald's, playing party next door, young and I was stressing, couldn't get no rest cause I was up in college, but they kicked me out dog, man my heart was broken, feeling like the Rosen, so I had to leave dog, I came overseas dog, now I got anointing, feeling just like Moses, watch me part the whole shit. Is broken, young and I've been chosen. Shooting my opponents, team is working OT. Keep up, I want on me like a loaded weapon. Always keep it loaded, finger on the trigger, making sure. 
All right, so next exercise, we're gonna do some uh, tricep presses, single arms. So uh, this corner in Brick House just has the best lighting for video. So we're gonna pull this flake up here and we're just gonna get a bunch of different angles. Probably do three or four sets of this. Should look really, really dope. Lighting here is just mint. I've been chasing checks and ducking federally Where my Spanish mommy? She just wanna fuck and then we'll fucking pop I came from the Beatles like a Paul McCartney If they want a war then we can do it, Carly yeah. And some bench press Bench always looks good in Burke House We got some sick benches over here So um, basically Just getting a lot of like Standstill shots for the first three reps Like literally tripod like shots And then after that I'm just going crazy Like I'm getting handheld movements Like literally walking while I'm twisting the camera Looking up at Blake and then like twisting back Focusing up on the weight To Blake's face And then backing out and exposing all of Blake So getting a bunch of different camera angles here It's looking really good so far haven't noticed already we got Adam Devered in training he featured on the last two behind the scenes of how to shoot fitness videos same gym same athlete just kind of helping out today um, getting in a, on a couple shots because he does train Blake and train with Blake so how to shoot uh, fitness videos for beginners I'll leave in the hover card up here it is mint yeah now I got a cine cam in my face it really be like that sometimes all right, shout out twitch.tv slash D Norvik, D N O R V I C K. Yeah. Twitch.tv, go watch us play some Dude. COD. Who is that? D Norvik. Who is that? Oh, D Norvik. You bomb. <laughs> you bomb. <laughs> yeah, see? And that's the type of friend wow. that you don't want. Yes, Kyle, I know. I'm gonna have the video done, bro. Relax. Just relax, man. You're always stressing out, bro. I got this. Wait, hold on. Can... Sorry, Kyle, can I call you back in two seconds? Do I even bother asking why you're playing a violin in the office right now? I couldn't find a song for this video that I'm editing, so I just decided to grab my violin and record my own. Do you even know how to play that thing? Well, kinda. I'm learning. Yeah, where? There's not much tension on the string and it's easy to push down. Dude, have you heard of Sonata Music before? Uh. Here man, let me show you. They have an awesome library of royalty-free music. Sonata Music is our new royalty-free music platform of choice. As you sift through the awesome layout of Sonata Music's website, you'll find tons of amazing cinematic music that we've been using on many of our clients' videos since we've signed up. Whether you're a full-time filmmaker and need quality cinematic songs for your clients' videos, wedding films, cinematic videos like the one you're watching right now, or simply just need some solid background music for your YouTube vlogs or social content, Sonata Music gets the stamp of approval from the Subtle Cinematic Squad. If you want to check out what Sonata Music is all about before committing to a payment, I left a 30-day free trial to their royalty-free music in the description of this video. Yo, what's going on guys? I thought that I would hop on a voiceover to break down more in-depth our entire interview setup for this cinematic gym video. All right, so to kick it off, I'm just setting up my C-Stand. I mounted my Zoom H4 recorder onto the C-Stand, and here we have our Aperture 300D2 light. Here I am screwing on the Rode NTG3 microphone to the C-Stand. Make sure that my XLR cable is plugged in and nice and secure. So right here we have the A-cam. So the A-cam is the main camera angle that we're using for the interview. And Dyson is going to be using the Z-cam E2S6 with a DZO Film 50mm cinema lens on there and an Atomo Shinobi monitor. And we're just going to mount it to a tripod. So again, the A-cam is just the main camera angle for the interview. I myself will be on the B-cam, which is the Lumix S1. So here we're just pretty much um, getting the composition set up perfect. So we're moving the camera around, making sure that the composition is good and where Blake is sitting is exactly where we want him for the interview. 
So as you can see as well, our Aperture 300D2 is very high up on the C stand, pointing directly down on Blake. The reason why we did this is we wanted a very dramatic look. So we crushed the shadows in this video, and basically we just wanted him to be in a spotlight. So that's why we only used one Aperture 300D2 with a softbox, a large light dome with a light dome grid, just so we can get some directional light onto him. So we're going to get a bunch of different types of clips of Blake coming into frame. So there's one where the aperture light is on and he comes into frame. We have another one here where the aperture is off, he comes into frame, and then I hit the aperture 300D2 so it turns on and we ended up using that clip for the intro of this cinematic gym video. We have another one here too where Blake comes in from the side, squares up with the camera, and then I hit the aperture 300D2, boom turns on and he's staring right into the camera which we cued him to do so now we're going to set up our rode ntg3 microphone so as you can see here i just have it boomed about a foot above him and a foot in front of him and i'm making sure that the audio is directionally like right in front of him we don't want it to be too far to the right or too far to the left it's right in front of him right above his head so as you can see, I'm on the B cam there. I have the Lumix S1 with an MC21 adapter. I'm just running it handheld for reasons that we're gonna get into in a little bit here. And I'm using the Canon 70 to 200 millimeter F2.8. So the reason why I'm doing this is I'm getting different, just various camera angles of Blake's face while he's talking. And I'm very punched in. I'm at about 150 to 200 mils punched in right to his face. So you can just capture this much of his face. And I'm capturing it from the side and looking up. So right here, you can see that I'm actually pointing down at his hands. So while he's talking, I'm getting just that extra emotion shot where he's, you know, moving his hands and kind of fiddling around with his hands. These are great cutaway shots to use for emotional interviews. And again, here I'm kind of getting really low and I'm looking right up at Blake. So I'm just kind of playing around with different camera angles, having fun with it. Um, you know, you can get separate b-cam shots like this where you're getting some from straight on looking up above and you know maybe focusing on the hands to get that, those emotion shots just because the a-cam is rolling the entire time so if the b-cam shot didn't look good for a certain shot you can always rely on your a-cam because it is stationed on a tripod and you can always just jump back to that if need be so that's our entire interview setup. It was really easy. We just used the Aperture 300D with a softbox and a light dome grid. And then we used the A cam, B cam with one tripod. And then we used the Rode NTG3 on a newer C stand and a Zoom H4 recorder. And keep in mind, the lighting setup was really easy. We just made sure that all the lights were turned off around Blake. We had the C stand as high as it could go, pointing directly down on Blake and just casting a spotlight on him. And how we created that spotlight look is we just crushed the shadows in post. So we brought the shadows down quite a bit and then we went into our um, saturation curves and we just brought up his skin tones and it left Blake in a nice spotlight. And one last thing guys, make sure to follow us on Instagram at Subtle Cinematics. We post a lot of bite-sized educational filmmaking content to help you level up as a creative. And if you guys hook us a follow, if you're a creative filmmaker, photographer, whatever, anything in the creative field, we always follow you guys back so yeah be sure to follow us and we will follow you back because if you support us and our community we're going to support you all right so that's a wrap for today guys thank you everybody for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe for more filmmaking tips tricks behind the scenes vlogs and more we'll catch you guys on the next video peace